The VMA show interests are here to open up some ideas, to encourage you to think who um, the guest for every single episode might be. As per this one, um, not that I need to quote uh, wise and interesting people, however, some of those quotations do make me stumble. Uh, for example, a day without laughter is a day wasted. Simple, clear, it makes sense. Or uh, nothing is permanent in this wicked world, not even our troubles. I borrow these two statements from one and only after the break. The VMEA Show is sponsored by the following people. Recording, rehearsal space, voiceovers, video editing in U.S. Minster. For more information, fiascobros.com. Cuts and colors in Uptown U.S. Minster. We welcome our stylist, George of Salon Caliente. For appointment, call 604-544-5104. Private investigations, security and alarm systems since 1972. For more information, call 604-251-2121. Makeup services for television, movie, and photo shoots. For more information, visit victoriawan.com. to um, add one more uh, quotation. Would you know who I'm talking about? It goes like this. In the end, everything is a gag. Nothing? Okay, I'll help you. The man who built Comedy Foundation, uh, the man who we'll know, uh, who made us laugh, even through our tears, comedian, actor, director, composer, genius. Did I forget him anything? Charlie Chaplin. I know, it's not gonna be him, but somebody, somebody else. His admirer, his follower of his legacy, I would like to welcome Chaplinesque comedian, Paul Romhani. Thank you. Hello, Paul. I thought you were talking about me for a second. <laughs> That's what I saw you <laughs> nodding. Yeah, well, yes, this is gonna be about you. Uh, Paul, I've seen tribute artists, I've seen impersonator. But nobody ever who would be okay in those big tramp shoes. Uh, how did you know that you can do that? Well, I was about eight years old when it first started. I saw my first... I'm from New Zealand originally. Don't tell me that. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> And um, I was eight years old uh, growing up, and um, that's when I saw the very first Chaplin movie called The Circus. And then it was strange because I connected in some way to Chaplin on a level that as, as a young kid... Who knows what it was, but I, I remember as an eight-year-old boy thinking, of my, thinking to myself, that's what I want to do when I grow up. That's who I want to be. I'm glad that you, uh, you followed your passion. Mm. You're amazing. I, you. uh, I really don't know many people. I don't, I, actually, I don't know anybody who does it because you chose very difficult and challenging task to perform uh, in those genius shoes, in this mm. genius skin, it's not an easy. Many times people say it probably wasn't even easy for him to be him. Absolutely, I remember there's a, uh, growing up, um, <clears throat> you know, it, there's all sorts of facets to Charlie, as you mentioned. There's the music, which is really important to me, uh, that side of it. Uh, there's the, you know, he was an actor, director, so he was all these things, but he grew up in a time when uh, vaudeville or musical in those days was, was the thing for variety entertainment. So, uh, so when he came into movies, I think he, he brought all this with him. Yeah. So everything he, his, his, his mother had taught him in, in musical or he gained experience traveling around the, the, the States doing musical, I think that all, it all so ended up in that. So he was inspired, <clears throat> definitely, the same like you were inspired by him. I, I remember, I remember seeing, I vividly remember, it was a crazy thing, I must, when Chaplin died, I remember watching it on the news and it had such an impact on me because I saw a man that I didn't, in my mind, Charlie Chaplin was a guy with, like, you know, who I portray with a little moustache, yes. black hair and, and a bowler hat, but I saw this man 
uh, in his 80s with uh, white hair, an old man, and it just really, I thought, oh my God, that's not Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> so in my mind, he didn't die, but I do remember that's waking up the next day, and it's the weirdest thing, thinking to myself, I'm Charlie Chaplin, <laughs> was, yeah. as a kid. It's crazy, you know. <laughs> it's really amazing, because I don't really know if anybody, regardless of age or culture, would not know who he is, even how many decades, 100 years after. It's, uh, absolutely, I, I'm very fortunate that I get to travel the world with my show. Well, I mean, with my show, I have to keep moving. But um, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate, and so now I could be in Africa, I could be in China, uh, I could be in Dubai, and they're still playing Chaplin movies. People still know who he is. Yeah, and even if the kids who watch my show don't know who Chaplin is, they see him as a clown character, mm -hmm. and and he is. He's he's, yeah. he's the world's best clown. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, he makes you cry, pathos. He makes right. you laugh. Yep. It's all mm -hmm. those things. I, I haven't said one thing, and it's uh, the Paul website, which is ChaplinMagic.com. Did I have it correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, whatever we can cover today on the show, you can uh, type um, uh, his website name and uh, you'll learn more about him. On the top of everything, a lot of videos where I saw you performing and I really like something. You know, I started talking about tribute artists and impersonators, but mm. you are so different from, from them. I'll tell you what I found and correct me if I'm wrong. You put, you add a little twist into it. It's not really that you try to completely copy his performance. It's right. almost like a parody or something. I guess that's why we can call you chaplain -esque. Well, see, I don't, I'm not Charlie Chaplin, obviously, but I am Chaplin-esque. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I always thought, because I got into magic as a young kid as well. I love magic. And so um, I thought, you know, combining magic with Chaplin, I always think, how would Chaplin... Uh, do magic. He's not a magician, so magical things happen to him without him knowing. And so that's how the show, you know, I do a full evening show, and that's how it, the, the show sort of works, as yeah. though things magically happen around Chaplin. To me, Chaplin is magic anyway. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> there's that inner child about Chaplin, mm -hmm. which I absolutely love. And to me, that's the real magic. And I think this would be a good spot for some pictures that you brought, because I like to share with everybody, and I know that you uh, you send us some images sure. uh, from your performance. So we have uh, right away the first one, and I think it's part of your performance. Live right? performances, yep, that's, that's it. one of your live performances. Yeah, very unrecognizable. So I, I, I get people out of the audience to come up on stage as well, and there's a whole routine, routine. I like that, so you, you know, interact with people Yes, absolutely. So, uh, and you bring them on your stage. Yeah, and so that's part of the stage setting there. I do a thing with coat hangers and just yeah. everyday props, you know, that, that mm -hmm. sort of chaplain would find in a dustbin or uh, wherever. Yeah, so these are the other ones. These were probably, these were actually filmed in Canada about eight years ago, now look at it. I was on a tour of Canada. Which doesn't happen probably very often. Uh, not not so much now. I sort of travel the world now, so. But uh, there's the broom. That's my signature routine: is the floating broom. Okay. Where the broom, Charlie falls in love with the broom, and okay, uh, it floats. Makes you know, you think it's in his mind. It becomes mm -hmm. a lady, and so, that's us. No, <laughs> oh, no that's so, <clears throat> today. You got my attention suddenly. <laughs> I have to say before we step into a short break that. Paul will uh, perform here live. It would be a shame if I have you here only for the interview. Sure. I do want to see you uh, okay. performing live. I saw just a few of, your, few of your videos, but if you stay with us shortly, you'll see something that you've probably never seen before. Stay with us. We'll be with you after one minute. The Mia Show is sponsored by the following people. Recording, rehearsal space, voiceovers, video editing in U.S. Minster. For more information, fiascobros.com. Cuts and colors in Uptown U.S. Minster. We welcome our stylist, George of Salon Caliente. For appointment, call 604-544-5104. Private investigations, security, and alarm systems since 1972. For more information, call 604 251 2121. Makeup services for television, movie, and photo shoots. For more information, visit victoriawan.com.
Uh, we have a very interesting person today. It wasn't easy to get him here, a Chaplin-esque comedian, Paul Romani, because you are always somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> I know you came from New Zealand. It's too bad you said it because I wanted to say you came only because of the show. <laughs> I did come because of the show. Of course, I traveled a long way to be here. <laughs> And I know you travel all over the world. Yes, yeah. You are in Asia, you're in Europe, you're in Australia, everywhere you can imagine, all over the map. I want to know how you, you um, adjust your gags according, because every culture takes things differently. <laughs> they do. I, the great thing about the act is it's designed so it doesn't have to be adjusted that much, because Chaplin himself wouldn't adjust any of his movies, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, uh, you just have to be aware of certain uh, cultural things or religious certain things. For example, I was in Dubai and it was Ramadan and I remember I, do a, a, I get someone out of the audience and do a trick with a drink. And uh, I get it up and I'd never heard of, this is many years ago, I'd never heard of you know, Ramadan where they feast, you know, they, they, they don't drink and put water to their mouth. And so I got them up, I got the man up and of course he's, he wouldn't touch, the, I'm going, come on, drink, drink. No, I wouldn't, he wouldn't touch the, come, oh, I'm going, what? No. My agent, when I finished, he goes, oh, I forgot to tell you, you can't, they can't, you know, you can't give these, they don't drink, they put water to, <laughs> oh man. So you, those little things okay. are, are interesting and you learn a lot as you travel. But generally on the whole. In terms uh, of humour? In terms of humour, um, some countries just don't have a sense of humour. Um, <laughs> We won't mention names. Um, <laughs> you know, you leave your sense of humour at the at, at the uh, yes, at the border. <laughs> but uh, generally, I think that the act appeals to uh, uh, every every age and every um, nationality. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can't think of any time I've really uh, had to alter anything. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Thanks to all these movies. Thank God they're still playing yes, them in yeah. documentaries. And thank to you that you're still keeping that genius alive. Because you're reminding us something that many of us, most of us, didn't have a chance to see live. Well, that's the thing when I do my show. It, uh, you know, obviously I, I try to encourage people to, to, to watch Charlie Chaplin movies. Mm -hmm. and, then they, and then a lot of people don't know he wrote a lot of his own music. So That's what I want you to say. How many people know how many masterpieces I know, composed? Smile and Limelight. Limelight. I mean, this, Tony Bennett covers it. Uh, Michael Jackson did a version of Smile. Even the artist... The, I think Nat, it, Nat King Cole. Nat King Cole, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I think even at the, at the Grammys recently there was a, a, a somebody saying Smile. So any, yeah. every generation that song yeah. is covered. Mm -hmm. And not just that song but many others. So. But um, Limelight is probably... Limelight is one of my favourites yeah. too. That yeah. and Smile are my two favourites. Yeah. Well, w when we talk about movies, I would say you probably have those movies look in through inside out, all of them. Uh, I don't want to ask you uh, which one you like the most, but is there anything that stands out a little more about the rest of them? Gold Rush I really liked. Um, more than anything, and especially today, it's a funny movie, really. It's called The Great Dictator. Yes. And the reason it stands out is the, is the speech at the very end. The final speech. <clears throat> that final speech. If you, don't, if you listen to it and, and don't cry, then it's, you know... When you told me <clears throat> that before, mm. I, first when I came home, I listened to it. It's very accurate even for now. That speech should be played today. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, my, my, I'd, like to, um, I'd like that speech to get out there today. It'd be great. The one way I thought about it was to have all these famous actors say one line from the speech, because then it would go viral. Mm -hmm. And every country... That speech today appeals just as much today uh, as it, as it, it uh, did way much. back then. Yeah. So it's a great... My favourite movie of all time, though, has to probably be The Kid. The movie, The Kid, I wanted with, to with about Jackie Coogan. Yes, uh, <laughs> I love that movie. I wanted to bring that that movie for the one reason because you have a little boy, you yeah, have a son, my little boy son, and you so. allow me to steal your pictures from Facebook, <laughs> yeah. which I'd like to share with everybody else sure. if, I, if I can. Uh, this little boy, there he is. Uh, <laughs> now look at him. You know, when I saw the picture, I'm wondering if you know what I'm thinking right now. Isn't he getting into the age that maybe make a little? different act to sort of uh, maybe parody or something uh, different of the kit? You, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's... That, <laughs> I haven't told my wife that yet, but that's, uh, that's been always... <laughs> now been in she the, knows. Now she knows. <laughs> Oops. But that's been in the back of my mind, obviously. To, uh, that's mm -hmm. my favourite movie. And, and mm -hmm. just there's a, there's a famous photo with Chaplin and Jackie Coogan when he was a little boy, um, <clears throat> you know, to, to, to do that scene. But absolutely. Uh, John Paul, who's three years old or three and a half, he, um, he can mimic my entire act it, with no coaching from me or my wife Isn't he just a beautiful compliment? It's, it's unbelievable um, he just he just has this ability to he's like he's an old when he was born we thought he was an old soul mm -hmm. my wife because he's he been is. here before he can connect in some way um, to to what he sees and I sit and watch a Chaplin movie and then the, I don't I don't think about these things but someone the other day said to us um, 
how many three-year-olds actually even know who Charlie Chaplin is? Mm. And I thought, oh, that's probably true, because <laughs> it's just around our house. It's always you know, the environment. It is the environment, and yeah. we try to get them and encourage yeah. them in music and all the arts. Mm -hmm. But he's just um, he just loves performing, and I guess. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, I grew up in a, a socialist country in Czechos mm. former Czechoslovakia. Right. When, when the movies, documentaries from Western Bloc was taboo, we were well fenced. Okay? Yes. So yeah. Nothing was going through. But if we had these chances. I watched all documentaries about yeah. Chaplin. I never wanted to be one, but I'm telling you, I admired him from the day I saw him first time. Uh, what about his work really left, what traces he really left, like that really, you know, just stuck you, that it's something that you, you can't, you can't even think it's going to be anything better than that? You mean the actual movies? Or yes, <clears throat> his work. His, his work, work, his body of work. Well, I think the pathos of his movies really... Um, first of all, he was able. He was one of the first, the few people, the first people, sorry, um, to actually tell a story. See, when he started in 1914, though, it was with Keystone, Keystone cops, and they were kicking everybody up the bottom, and you know, all that run around stuff mm -hmm. with the policemen and stuff. Uh, that was early slapstick. And so, what Chaplin did, and, and he changed a lot of the way what movies are today. He told stories with his movies, and so he added pathos. Movies became an hour and a half long, not just um, 10 minutes or eight minutes, you know. He actually several reels of film. Um, so he left these, these great storylines that even today, um, um, they're so tender and touching. And as you said, you know, 100 years after, or 80 to 100 years later after these movies came out, they're still appealing today. And I always ask people, how many movies that are made today will have that same impact in 100 years' time? Mm -hmm. Very few. That's true. You know, um, but Chaplin, that's the, the, the real magic of Chaplin, the so genius I guess of I was right when I said he was genius. He was right? a genius, absolutely. Yeah, genius. They all were, I think. Harold Lloyd, they were pioneers. They were all pioneers. Mm -hmm. I, I think they were funnier people than Chaplin, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but, but Chaplin... Was a serious man, wasn't he? He was, he was a great man. He, he, he wanted to know about politics. He met everybody from Einstein. He met everybody. Mm -hmm. um, he got to meet prime ministers and presidents that you couldn't meet, and Is they there wanted to meet him. Is that you're still learning about him? About I'm always work? every day about every it. Day? Oh, I still okay. watch the movies. Mm -hmm. I sit down with my three-year-old and we watch the Chaplin movies. Oh, nice. Not just the. I, obviously, I study movement and and the persona of Chaplin, the character. Mm -hmm. But just, I mean, I read every book that comes out and watch yeah. every documentary, and and I'm, and and it's a, uh, it's a never-ending learning step for me and it also helps me create new things for my show too so that's yeah. important yeah well it's interesting i'd like to show if we can briefly talk about your past a little bit of your past and sure. future uh show so i know that you entertain the people in a pretty high and the places we some of them some of us can even see so uh just a sample Oh, uh, if I would fly to China to entertain, I got to entertain the prince, uh, the the family of Monaco, royal family of Monaco. Um, uh, you know, I get hired for companies um, all over the world, Dubai, uh, Fiji to perform for mm -hmm. the king. Um, you know, uh, everywhere, just because it's a silent act, it's universal. Yes. And so it just, mm -hmm. it just, um, and you know, I never think about those things. It's I just, interesting. <coughs> I know that you, you're, in the, you're living on that more humble side. I, I recognize that. That. And there is something that, if you don't want to talk about it, just tell me. But there is one thing I really like. I don't want to talk a about lot it. of things. <laughs> a lot of things. That, well, uh, sorry, I I'm, not, started. I'm getting it started. I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> you were as the only one allowed or accepted by a certain family to interview them. Oh yes, yes. I, I, that's a, yeah. I run a, a magic magazine mm -hmm. called Vanish Magic Magazine. It's the largest uh, downloaded magazine. It's a free magic magazine. Over a hundred thousand readers. And it's aimed at magicians and those who love magic. So um, we interviewed um, a, a member of the Chaplin family because the Chaplin family is, 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 is uh, an incredible family. You know, they're still performing today. Some of them are in the movies. A lot of them are still in the business. Mm -hmm. um, and so we got a great interview f um, from one of the grandchildren. Um, and she has her own act and her own right. She's a phenomenal performer. Mm -hmm. And she's touring the world with her own show. Mm -hmm. So that was a real coup because it's not easy to get hold Can of them. Can you imagine that? And that was how, how many people get a chance and, and, to, uh, to meet people like that, right? Right. Uh, absolutely. Actual family. Yeah, so it was good. Um, so, yeah, I, I know you don't want to talk too much about you. Uh, again, um, chaplainmagic.com. That will be Paul's website. We can see here, watch more on it. Uh, in terms of future mm. uh, shows, I don't know if you know something what I know. 
Uh, Probably not. I don't know that much. Um, there is one big festival happening in May 22nd to 24th in Parksville, where I'm going to be performing with my new act called ABBA Time. And if you punch this world, words, Vancouver Island Tribute Festival in Google, you're not going to see only us, me and my friend, but also you. It's, I'm going to meet you there. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. I'm so looking forward. I don't get the me chance too. to perform that much I didn't know until here. a few days ago. <laughs> I learned that you're going to be on the stage. So yeah. again, Vancouver uh, Island Fes uh, uh, Tribute Festival uh, will show also uh, so many different kind of artists, but forget about them. It's just look at Paul <laughs> <laughs> and Abba time because I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to seeing you perform. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I might come on your stage oh. as chaplain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be a new be fun. <laughs> <laughs> And I know that you also teach magic? Yes, I do. I wow. consult, I teach, I write books, I invent tricks. Um, Interesting. You know, it's so another, it's just all creativity. It's what Chaplin did. It's so all about being creative. It's a whole package. You are yeah. not only just on a stage. And and that's true. I, I really enjoy, Paul, watching when I was looking at your uh, videos that how much the audience means to you. It mm. shows because you bring them on a stage, you bring them, you obviously when you look at people, you know who you're going to involve into your show, who you're not. You know within a few seconds, Seconds, right? absolutely, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have too much time because I want to see you performing live, which is coming very soon. I know you yeah. promise you're going to do that. Yeah. Uh, one more question. Your biggest accomplishment. What do you, what, what you love the most out of your work? I think recently seeing my three-year-old son watch me and um, you see his eyes and like he would have come today, you know. That's and your biggest re he's reward. My, that's my biggest reward yeah. probably, seeing yeah. it in his eyes and in him wanting to emulate what I do. I uh, like what, what you said. I would, I would expect something else, but uh, this one is more original to me. Well, I it's, really it's like how it. I feel. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's for sure. Paul, I have only time to say thank you. My pleasure. I wish thank I you. More. So you will have to change quickly because I mean, we need to see your performance. Yes, okay. But before we do, <clears throat> you can't leave without signing oh, my cup. Like every, I have six cups at home. This is seven, representing oh, seven wow. seasons. And soon I'm going to be selling them. On eBay. Dear, <laughs> oh, should I write dear eBay user? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'll do a little chaplain face. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, if you were not, if this wasn't enough for you, again, uh, chaplainmagic.com. Otherwise, stay with us for a few more minutes, and I'll see you again next time.